Crash Bang Wallop, Pallets Destroyed. Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we're going over to the Rugner Inselbrauerei here in Germany. And we are looking at the Baltic Stout, which is clocking in at 7.5% in a fringe to 30ml bottle, which has this lovely um, paper label, which is actually stuck onto the bottle itself. So best before date is the 4th of the 1st, 2019. So I suppose you could sell this for a while. It'd be intriguing, depending on how this one tastes. Relatively fresh. So they use roasted malts. Wheat malts, oat malts, and I think that is glucose. Basically, it's an imperial stout, and it's telling you to have this with either a bit of chocolate or a cake. But yeah, just beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, a lot of nature is involved in the artwork of the beers. And they are presented absolutely beautifully in this lovely paper sleeve. And then there is the crown at the top. Um, I have reviewed one of their beers before, which was the Baltic Ale, which I think was a porter. And I remember that being really nice. Uh, from what I've read, they've had a little bit of success in uh, at some of the London beer festivals over the past couple of years. So, uh, yeah, they've definitely got uh, something of a reputation. So waffling on already let's see if i can open this one without destroying it for the uh, thumbnail because thumbnails are important obviously so there we go nice amount of smoke uh, it's been in the basement but it's actually not too cold i think that paper sort of insulated it almost so the bottle isn't really cold like it is usually so let's see what we get and it's definitely got a glug in there. When you pour it, you get this lovely sort of uh, oaky look to it. And then when it gets into the glass, that is, to me, pretty much, in this light anyway, pitch black. So there's still a little bit in the bottle. But um, yeah, beer in a glass. And you'd think that I've got like a, a black coffee there. Lovely intense colour to it. Lovely foamy brown coloured head. Looks like an espresso. And uh, yeah, nice carbonation wrong up the side of the glass to that head. One finger's worth of it. And um, yeah, it's definitely ticking all the boxes in terms of its appearance. Anyway, it looks really, really good. I think you'll agree. Let's see what we get on the aroma. And it's roasty all the way. To the point where you'd almost think that there were smoked malts in there. Nutty. You get a little bit of coffee in there as well. Definitely pick up that bit of chocolate. It sort of reminds me of uh, an almost like singed um, sponge cake also. With that sweetness. But yeah, molasses. Toffee, brown sugar syrup in there it's that lovely dry smokiness that i'm really really liking with this one but yeah it's like a it's like a black coffee with some sort of sweet syrup in there and you get that sort of like slightly oaty aroma like a porridge with maybe some sugar sprinkled on top then you've put it in the microwave so it crystallizes on the top that's the sort of imagery you get with this beer. The London 2016 uh, Gold World Beer Award. And uh, from, I don't know if they were voted the best German brewery or whatever. Uh, information will be in the description, as always, so you can find out more. So anyway, it smells really, really good. Looks really good. Let's hope it tastes just as good, if not better. Cheers. Yeah, that's just what I was expecting from that aroma. Very dry. It's a very dry stout. Get that sense of a char in there. Sort of like burnt end edges on a, a piece of beef. That sort of flavour profile. Get a very smoky flavour. Not really in that like peated, slightly sweetened Rauch beer style. 
but yeah, it's got that like harsh, like barbecue smoke flavor in your mouth. Carbonation is prickly. Some might think it may be a little bit too prickly, but I think that's just the right, right amount of carbonation. Body, uh, being a dry stout, it's not really like a thick syrupy stout by any stretch. It's more along the lines of the upper end of medium. And it works perfectly. You get like cakey, cookey, biscuity vibes in there. Lovely, almost gingerbread flavours. That is a really, really nice surprise, it has to be said. I don't know if you saw that on camera, but that looked absolutely wonderful being shook up and poured into that glass. <laughs> Excuse me. Getting a slightly sweeter peated smoke aroma now, for some reason. That'd be a bit of chocolate. When you get that head combining with that beer, adds a slight like creamy foaminess to it. I saw very robust, very indulgent imperial stout. Not overly sweet, not sickly, not too heavy, very dry on the back end, probably one of the driest stouts that I've ever had. You get a slight coating around your mouth after you finish, slight stickiness. But that is lovely, that is really, really nice. That, that, that dryness and that smokiness and that sharpness. But then you've got these lovely mellow sweet tones in there and cakey tones. I mean, it, it says to pair this with a bit of chocolate and a cake. That's a perfect accompaniment. And uh, yeah, this I'd be interested to see what this would taste like two, three, maybe four years, if not longer, down the line. See what develops and see what flavours fade and that sort of thing. This would be a great base stout for uh, a barrel aged version, which I'm not sure if they've already done that or not, but prime candidate for it. There's so much flavour in there without being too flavoursome, if that makes sense. So it's just that balance. That's a lovely, lovely stout. And 8.5% or 7.5% not a chance. No hint of the alcohol in the at any process of the drinking process. From sniffing it in the glass to the beer on the back end, not even really getting that much of a warming sensation from it. It's a lovely stuff, really, really is. And a beer like this available in the supermarkets here in Germany, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Um, it's a little bit more on the expensive side compared to the stuff that's available. Uh, you're paying about €3 Euros for a beer like this. But it's worth every cent. It really, really is. And uh, yeah, if you get the opportunity to try this beer, then definitely, definitely do so. It's, it's the complete package for me. Beautiful, traditional, yet contemporary looking artwork that stands out on the shelf. You know that these guys are proud of their products. They go that extra mile with the actual labeling, the whole website, the branding, they've got it right. And yeah, I've had two beers on them so far. The uh, Baltic Ale was okay. I thought it was a good beer, a good example of a porter, but this is just completely a different level. And in terms of a rating, I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. It, it's just a beautiful beer. It's not a big boy stout or anything like that. It's not, you know, crash bang wallop, palettes destroyed. It's just amazingly drinkable for that flavour profile. And um, yeah, if you get the opportunity to try this beer, definitely, definitely do so. The fact that it was uh, available back in the UK, I mean, it says to me that I think you should be able to pick up at least some of their beers. And yeah, I'll definitely be looking out for other beers by these guys in the future. So, if you have already tried this one, then uh, let me know your thoughts opinions. What's your favourite beers that you've had from this brewery? I think um, Les Waller here on YouTube has reviewed this one. He's reviewed a couple of the Insul Brewery 
uh, beers. So if he has, link is down below. And of course, if any of my uh, friends here on YouTube have reviewed it, the links will be included also. Check out the brewery. Their website and social media platforms are down below. I have reviewed uh, one of their beers, obviously, so I'll put that link down below also. And check out my stout playlist for more. So, another 10 out of 10. I've done a lot of 10 out of 10 beers in 2017 so far. And, um, yeah, very well deserving. So, I've waffled on for way too long. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers. Crash bang wallop, pallets destroyed. 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 Crash bang wallop, pallets destroyed.